Hey Pete, hey Bill. Um, just uh, a thank you video for you guys. Um, I'm on the first stage of building a direct conversion receiver for my Michigan Mighty Might. So I started up with doing the bandpass filter, following the instructions from W8DIZ from Diz. Uh, for 40 meters so this is what I constructed today uh, we got here a pole filter for the band pass so I had in my junk box different components I had a uh, 50 stroke 2 toroids I salvaged all CB radios for my capacitors. Uh, I had these trimmers as well on stock. So um, first of all, we got a torrid here. It's three turns on the primary side. Then we got 28 on the secondary. So well, I calculated as well uh, for 3.9 micro Henry's 28 turns on L2, and I got the same on L3. We got uh, primary 28 turns and secondary going out with three turns. Terminated everything with uh, 50 ohms. And now uh, I'm going to use a Aircraft X3 for sweeping that filter. I start at 6.775 megahertz, and we're sweeping up to 7.3 uh, with zero dBm. That makes uh, zero point two two volt effective and let's see how the curves are looking like so we're gonna start the sweep so actually pretty nice going up the maximum is at 7.03 and 7300 at the lowest and we start again at 6.775 so to see if everything works fine i took all the numbers and um, come up with this chart here so we got the frequency on the bottom we got the dbms on the y scale and then i transformed the measured the roughly measured volt effectives on the oscilloscope and what we see we got the rejection this is the seven megahertz line this is the 7.2 border and like described in the manual of this we got about uh, 6 dB bandwidth about uh, of about 140 kilohertz at 7 megahertz so actually a pretty nice project for the weekend I did some noodling and uh, thanks very much and hope to get the double balance mixer on the next stage.